Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. What was that crap coming out of the back of your head? I'm not sure. Rabbit ears. <laughs> I think I'm trying to get the Channel 40. <laughs> I remember those days. Yeah, yeah Dad, rabbit ears. Hey, I got some bad news I got to share with you. Okay. Remember that last video we did? Yeah. I didn't like what you had to say, so I'm going to unfriend you on social media. Oh. Either that or I'm going to unfollow you. I'm not sure. I, uh, I really won't even know because I've unfriended you oh. like a long time ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. You could have told me. Eh, or, or maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe All right. So well, then maybe I won't unfriend you. Just so that you... Uh, <laughs> never mind. When is the right time to unfriend or unfollow a friend or colleague on social media. I've been pushed to the brink on many occasions. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about that on this episode of Men Are So Smart. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. My name is Lou Gallagher. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm Corey Ryan. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Social media gets a lot. Welcome to Men Are So Smart. Social media gets a lot of attention for the media part. After all, who doesn't love seeing pretty pictures, funny memes, and interesting videos like ours? But when it comes to the effects on your real world life, you need to be paying just as much attention to the social part because ultimately Facebook, Instagram, and the like are just as much about relationships as they are about information. True that. Uh, so this first category, unfollow versus unfriend. Okay, let's let's establish what both let's are. Let's talk about this. All right. Uh, just like in the real world, there are a lot of relationship levels between people who share everything with each other and sworn enemies. And social media tools can help you sort out exactly how much engagement you want to have with each friend. Uh, think of unfollowing someone on Facebook as taking a little break from uh, from the relationship while unfriending them is a serious breakup. Yeah. Uh, it's, and I'll tell you, I we talked about it just a little while ago. We each have a friend or two that overposts way too much. Yeah. And negativity. Yes. And I try to go through and I try to leave a comment or a like or something on their Facebook page just to acknowledge, hey, what they did. If And I post something maybe once or twice a week and never get anything. In out. return. There's nothing in return. So I'm not sure it's a really, uh, as I use the word, symbiotic relationship. Well, you know, Ronnie, you can put them on a temporary pause. And there is one particular person in my circle of social media friends, who I find I'm doing it like every 30 days. And you can only pause them, pause them for 30 days. Uh, and as soon as the 30 days are up, my page is instantly filled with all of these posts again, over and over. I don't think this person works. I think all they do is post on social media. That's, I don't understand that. I could think of a billion other things I'd rather be doing. That's, that's a total unfriend right there. Yeah, I just hate to do that because I kind of feel like I can keep an eye on them. <laughs> keep your uh, keep your friends close. And your enemies closer, Ron. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And I'll tell you one more thing. Nothing gives me greater pleasure than to hide their notification. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing. When my page comes up with people you may know, yeah. I get a big kick out of going, no. No, no, sorry, no, -uh. pretty girl. Yes, next. Thank you. No, yep. no, yeah, not happening. All right, so when to unfollow and when to unfriend. Here we go. Pay attention. Yes, I'm talking to you. Knowing the difference is one thing, knowing how to use these tools is another thing, but it's an essential skill for handling the most awkward social media situations. Now, don't worry, we got you covered here. These are some common social media situations along with advice for the proper etiquette in handling them. Ronnie? Okay, so unfriend. Okay, this is a situation where you could. Unfriend. You're, a neighbor keeps badgering you to host a party for the makeup that she sells. 
Yeah, uh, I, I've heard of this before. Uh, or like Pampered Chef. Right. Or uh, Tupperware. Tupperware. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Tupperware. Or Lulu, whatever the hell that clothing is, Lulumon or something. Uh, yeah, social media has become the method of choice for people in multi-level marketing business to hawk their wares and expand their downlines. Uh, but whether they're selling fashion, jewelry, diet pills, makeup, hair products, oils, fitness programs, or romantic aids, the bottom line is their posts are self-serving. Exactly. Uh, these friends see you as a way to make money and using your relationship with them to that end. Uh, if you like the products, it's not a problem. But if you feel overwhelmed by the request, simply unfriend them. Uh, it's really, if it's really a close friend, talk to them in person first about how it makes you feel and then unfriend if they don't respect that boundary. You know, there's a fine line there between friend and Facebook friend. Well, there's... Friend means that you'll help a person move. Right. Yeah. Or in my case, just use my truck. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're not helping anybody move. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, I got you. Uh, well, you know, while we're in the middle of this episode, I thought what we might do is go to our Men Are So Smart page on Facebook, which is at Men Are So Smart, if you're checking it out. and uh, You can follow us there. Uh, and if my computer will ever load... And don't forget, Ronnie, I'm on your direct cat six you line are, right here. You're faster than you can I'll imagine. I'll tell you what. Um, I was going to give you some examples of the things that we post there. Here we go. It's coming oh, back up go. now as we speak. There we go. My belief is this, and I think Ronnie feels the same way. Social media is not to help you hawk products or services. It should be used for fun. Right. Funny memes. Funny observations, funny songs. You know what? Maybe keeping track of an old high school friend. Sure. Uh, that know? can be good and, and it can be bad as well. Yeah. Um, okay, and I'm still waiting here. I don't understand why this is taking so That's, freaking long. There we go. Here we go. Now, the first one up is a picture of Ronnie in a dress. The next picture, I love this post. Douche, what, what happened? Where'd it go? Oh, oh there, there it is. we go. Do sharks complain about Monday? No. No. They're up early, biting stuff, chasing shit, being scary, reminding everyone they're a freaking shark. Happy Monday. That's, that's, they do they. Yeah, exactly. Sharks do sharks. Yep. Uh, here's one of a picture of a guy who's got a baseball cap on backwards and sunglasses, and he appears to be at a sporting event doing this. Shielding his eyes from the sun. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Are there any more of these that we can share? Anyway, you can go to our Facebook page and see these. There's some good ones. That's how we use social media. I try to use it on my Lou Gallagher page. I know you do it on your own personal page, which is not for it's, broadcast. Yeah, it's not out there. Right. You can't find I do. That. I do a lot of my volunteer at the animal shelter stuff. And here's a blog on that. Yeah. Okay. I, I put animals that are adoptable mm -hmm. on the page for my friends to see. And, you know, maybe they'll help them, help them get adopted. Here is us promoting Flip the Script, episode 03. I love that For one. Sean on uh, Flip the Script. I think 03 was much better than 02. Oh, yeah. 02.1. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's one from a bar. A sign out front, a sandwich board says, Tall boy, if I only wanted one drink, I'd go to Mass. When you go to our Mass, <laughs> you have as many as you want. Unlimited. Unlimited, yeah. my friends. However uh, many you have in your fridge. So there you go. Uh, that's it's the way that we believe social media should be used. So, uh, let's see. You talked about your neighbor. How about your boss, current, or former? Nope. I don't. I, I nope. don't think there's any reason for that. No. Nope. It can only hurt you and can't help you. Uh, yeah. Even if you're on great terms with your boss, it's a best practice to keep your work and personal life separate and not be friends with him or her on social media. Um... LinkedIn is the appropriate site for making and maintaining business connections. There you go. Yep. However, if you're already friends, then it might jeopardize your working relationship if you suddenly unfriend them. So unfollowing them can be middle ground. 
Also, consider setting a filter to not show certain posts like your weekend party or vacation trip to your boss, yeah. especially if you call in sick to go. Yeah. Uh, and believe me, people are checking that. If you insist on being friends with work associates, make sure you know what your social media profile is really saying about you. I know what mine says about me. I like to have fun. Right. I like to enjoy a cocktail now and again. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all have seen me have a cigarette live on the air and on a flip the script. Yep. So, you know, I, what you see is what you get. It's not something that I'm trying to project. And see, for mine, and the reason mine is set to pretty private, is the department that I work for <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, takes a pretty dim view of certain beliefs that you might have. So they don't want, because you're a representative of the department, they don't want you getting too extreme on your social media. So you know what? Uh, mine is a generic name. Uh, I have only a few friends, a small circle of friends, and that's it. I don't share, none of the stuff that I share is ever uh, public. Right. So that's just the way it is. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, and you know what? Your posts are always insightful. I, might, I just want to say that. Oh, thanks. And my wife wanted me to tell you that, oh. too. She she's, it follows you, and, and she enjoys everything Thank you, you post. Yeah, mm -hmm. appreciate that. This next one here, though. Oh, this is seems like a no-brainer. Go ahead, Ronnie, because I got something to say. This is somebody you need to unfriend. Mm -hmm. Your ex after a bad breakup. Yeah. Or a divorce. Right. Uh, sure, some people remain friends with their exes, but that's probably more the exception than the rule. Staying social media friends with your ex can make a difficult breakup even harder by showing you everything they are or aren't saying about you and how well they're moving on. Right. Uh, if you've decided you don't want to have a relationship with them in real life, then there is zero reasons to keep an electronic relationship. Uh, spending more time in the real, real world with loved ones is one of the 10 ways to have a healthier relationship with social media. Yeah, Ron, um, you know, one of the things that I've noticed is, at least with Facebook, I can't speak to Insta or, or whatever. Twitter. Twitter. Um, when you post a picture, you can't get rid of it. It's there. It's you can't there. delete it. Yeah. It's going to be in your history of photos. Yeah. And uh, that's why I say be careful, especially in a new relationship. You're not sure, you know. Yeah, you want to date this person. You want to go out on several dates with them. But before you introduce this person to your social friends, you probably might want to think about waiting a little while. It's like that uh, so-and-so is in a relationship and they give the date thing. Right. Is that really necessary? And who is that for? Yeah. Who is that for? Your partner or your, your um, relationship partner? I don't know. What does that prove? That yeah. you're, you're not on the market anymore? You found a successful relationship? I'm not sure. I don't get it. Somebody tell me in the comments, please. Yep. All right. Uh, unfollow your college roommate who posts 20 pictures a day of her new baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? That goes away after about three or four years. <laughs> so <laughs> that take long. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even people who love seeing pictures of cute babies, and who doesn't? Kids and pets can also have a hard time matching the zeal of the proud parent, especially one who enjoys posting every burp or bark to social media. While this can get annoying, your friend isn't technically doing anything wrong or offensive, and he or she will likely move out of this phase eventually, three or four years, <laughs> at which point you may want to refollow her then. Unfollowing will give you a covert breather. That's what I'm saying. This person, every 30 days, I got to put him on a hidden. Yeah. And you know why I don't just delete him, I don't know. You should. Yeah, well, I'll go through your page later and I'll delete them. I, you know, that would be easier for it, me if it, you would. It'll cut the pain out right, right. out. Uh, so this is somebody you want to unfriend. Your super fit friend who sends you into a shame spiral. Yeah, I lost oh, 83 pounds. Yes. And now my stomach looks like this. Woo! I use the banana diet. Yeah. Uh, so this is... And I can help you too. Comparison is the thief of joy. Here it is. Wow. Nailed it. 
and nowhere is the old adage more true than on social media. If you can't stop looking at a celebrity's or a friend's picture and envying their lives or their bodies, then it's time to unfriend for your own mental health. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you, I have a, a working person, uh, a deputy, that played at the highest level of college football, was in the uh, freaking Rose Bowl, was drafted by the NFL, played a couple of years in the NFL, had injuries, and had to retire and became a deputy. But this person, when you look at them, you instantly go athlete. When he's just, when his arms are just hanging there, his biceps are enormous. He's not flexed at all. I saw him one time and he told me, man, I feel awful. I haven't been to the, I've been sick. I haven't been to the gym in a week and I'm losing weight so fast you can't imagine. I told him, you know what? You need to stop telling people that because they will hate you for yeah. it. When you, and see for him. I bet he appreciated that. <laughs> I'm just trying to help him out. Right. But see, for him, when he stops going to the gym, he's not building that muscle mass. Muscle weighs about four times what the same size of fat weighs. And so, of course, he's going to lose some muscle mass and he's going to lose some weight. But you know what? You don't have to tell people about that. Yeah. It's not, it's not the type Especially of thing. Especially when you're on a diet, you're trying to lose weight. Oh you my gain God. two pounds. Yes. <laughs> Come on, dude. I know you so well, Ronnie. Jeez. All right, let's wrap up with this one, Ronnie, because I think this is probably key. This is the one that separates people right and left. And by simply not talking about it, you can live a much nicer life. Yeah. Unfollow your cousin or whoever, you fill in the blank, who won't stop posting political rants about elections and such. Stop already. Wait, what? Didn't we just tell you to unfriend the politics-obsessed friend? First, your cousin isn't just some sort of friend. He or she's family and therefore deserves extra consideration, adding that it's worth having a face-to-face -face conversation about how his screeds affect your relationship. Second, the election will come and go, and hopefully he will calm down after the point and resume posting corny jokes. Um, you don't want to be posting consistent political views you know what even you if they alienate people even if they're views that i 100 percent agree with i'm tired of politics yeah because you cannot turn on the tv or the radio or social media and not see something political and you have to think about that before you post it and people will take a post that's not political and then they put their little political spin on why? it. why this is not a political post it's not a political page. No. I don't, you know what? You do what you do on right. your page and leave it up to me to decide. Right. If I don't like it, you know, I'm going to get rid of you. And you know what? You did it to yourself. So I'm not going to feel bad about it. Yeah. I just don't want your post to affect my, I don't know how many friends I have on there. I, I don't want it to, to affect those people. Right. They shouldn't have to see it. If I see it, and I don't like it, it's gone. First, I'm gonna hide the notification. Right. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna monitor very closely what kind of posts you're making. And if you fall into a category of 80% political, I'm sorry, but I have no choice. Right. You've given me no choice. You're gone. You know, and there are, there are some people that post a lot of pol political jokes. And I can appreciate them uh, and and I don't care which side it's on. There are funny political jokes, both liberal and conservative. Mm -hmm. I can appreciate humor. Sure. So that's fine. But uh, you know what? Reel it in just a little bit. Not everything has to be political. Yeah. You know, if we wanted, we could go on this show right here and start start talking politics and slamming people right and left. This is good. YouTube is a great platform for that. <laughs> exactly. There have been some people that have been made very famous from YouTube videos, mm -hmm. politically wise. We choose not to. Right. And when it comes to banning, this came up in a comment. I don't know if you were privy to that one or not. No. Nope. Um, 
we we honestly do not want to ban you no. from our Facebook page, from our YouTube show. We don't. And so, again, the screen goes up. You make a comment, and maybe it goes into my possible spam folder or questionable uh, re for review. You yeah, without review. review. Yep. You know, and if I look at it and I go, well, you know what? There's really nothing wrong with that. Okay, maybe they said the S word. That's fine. That's for big boys. Yeah. Uh, but if we have to delete your comment and do it more than once yeah. or, God forbid, twice, uh, you're not getting the message. Right. And that's not our fault. Um, you should have some decorum. You should have some accountability and responsibility. Um, and, and if you don't, you get what you get. You know what, don't though? I have to say that of our viewers, have we deleted maybe one? Yes. So, um, for the most part, we've had, we've had at least one that I know of that was kind of sliding down a slippery slope a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's become a really regular viewer who I love. Yeah. So, uh, because he he found out that, hey, we don't play that. Mm -mm. We're not into that. No. And he stopped, and now he's one of our most regular and, and best viewers. And best commenter, too. Best, great Absolutely. commenter. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, that's the thing. That's the one thing that Ronnie and I hope for when we're doing this show. Our viewers are so creative. Yep. You write us funny comments, thoughtful, insightful, helpful, lots of fools. Oh, yeah. Lots of fools. Yeah. Um, and so for that, we say thank you. And um, in, in, if we haven't got a chance to comment back to you on your comments on our post, we will. We will. We'll get back yep. to it. We get there. Um, I, you know, I, I'm very busy. Ronnie in his retire semi-retirement is also very busy with volunteering and, and helping friends and so on as well. So, you know, sometimes we're just in the middle of something and we can't. Um, when I'm at work lately, I really don't have any time for this yeah. whatsoever. Uh, things are really crazy. And and so on my lunch hour, I, I try to get to a few. Um, but, you know, I don't want my lunch hour to be stressful. So right. uh, keep that in mind. Yep. All right, that's going to do it, Ronnie. We got to get out of here. Yeah. We hope you learned something about friending, unfriending, following, and unfollowing. Uh, we appreciate you following us. Yeah. Our Facebook page is, once again, at Men Are So Smart, and we will continue to bring you funny, insightful, hilarious posts as we find them. Along with our blogs, an occasional video. Yeah. You'll notice that for a long time, we were posting every one of our videos on our Facebook page. Right. And, yeah, I don't think everybody wants that. If, if you want to see our show, you can go to YouTube, do yeah. a search for Men Are So Smart, you're there, boom. Yep. And there's 470 episodes that you can check. We need to cut that back a little bit. We do. <laughs> and trust me, <laughs> I know someone who's working on just that. <laughs> All right. Hope you had a good time today. Subscribe to our channel if you do feel so compelled. If you don't, that's fine too. Yeah. Uh, when you're subscribing, be sure and click the bell so that you get notifications each time a new show comes out. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie, you and I are probably due for another blog. Yeah. I hate to burden you with that, but it's probably about time. Yeah. We just updated uh, with videos on our website. Yep. And uh, what else did we do there, Ron? Our, our Mantisy. Oh, Mantisy Draft Picks yeah, are on there as Mantisy well. Yeah, Mantisy Draft Picks. Mm -hmm. you got to pick your favorite. Who Who's the winner? Clear winner. Clear winner. Says you. Yeah. Says the tool. <laughs> <laughs> to the tool. I think most of the viewers will agree with me. Okay. I, I nailed it. Oh, yeah, I think that's pretty presumptuous of you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. See how he knows exactly when to say that? <laughs> this has been another episode of Men Are So 